Sunbelt Motors. Well, it's Friday and time for another Down Home. Tonight we visit a barber shop in Sweetwater, Alabama, a place where you won't find blow dryers or setting gel or women. 78-year-old Otis Etheridge could probably recognize most of the men in Sweetwater, Alabama just from the tops of their heads. He's been grooming those heads now for about 55 years. The old barber shop is pretty much the way it's always been. Etheridge and his partner Quintus Barr using scissors, clippers, and a comb to deliver some pretty traditional haircuts. This is an all-men's shop. Haircuts are close and functional. And by golly, men walk out of here with a haircut that looks like a haircut. Yeah, I got to bring them all, because you might fuck with them if I let them hair get out of that collar. But there's more to a great old-time barber shop than just haircuts. In a small town, a barber shop can take the place of a television newscast. Coming here, you can find insightful political analysts. We done elected two presidents, so I guess we're gonna, we're gonna be setting for the day. There's a weather update. Well, good rain yesterday, and then, yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. Um, about an inch, we're gonna eat rain. And plenty of sports. They're sitting around, you see any of them? You've got a lot of information. Like the ball, back the election. We won the ball team, all the ball team, and Alabama was the ball team. Yeah. There's even entertainment, but it's not always for broadcast. Well, it's had a lot of jokes told, but couldn't hardly tell them on television. It, it, it'd be kind of rough. But... Haircutting has been good to Otis Etheridge. It's even become a family tradition. Oh, I have twin boys and Selma couldn't have. Harry and Larry. Yes. Yeah. Go do. So if you ever find yourself in Sweetwater, Alabama, and your hair's a little ragged, well, drop in and visit Otis. He'll give you a trim that will last about a month. He's been at it 55 years, but Otis says there are still plenty of haircuts left in him. I reckon I keep on until I get what I can cut, you know, hold my I'm John Smith, and we're down home.